Hi, my name is Marek Kjeritz, and this here is my first booktube video. I decided to jump right in with a weekly recap. Okay, so technically Monday is a bit late for a recap, but it's Pentecost Monday and that's actually a national holiday here, so this is the end of the weekend for me. The first thing I read last week was Technologies of the Self, a novella by Harris Durrani. It's a story of a young man called Jihad, who understandably after 9-11 goes by the name of Joe, as he learns about the adventures his uncle had with Santiago, the patron saint of Spain who is also kind of a time-traveling demon, but not a very effective one. I've seen this novella compared a lot to The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wao by Juno Diaz, and that's understandable. They both feature a Dominican geek who has trouble uh, in his romantic relationships. It features a lot of the family history and most prominently there is a supernatural curse that might be haunting them. I was actually reminded of The Pauper Prince and the Eucalyptus Chin by Usman Malik, which is also about an immigrant trying to find out more about stories of his his forefathers, and in this case it's his uncle and the pauper prince, it's his, I think it was his grandfather. But I think I actually preferred uh, the technologies of the self, which has a, has a lighter, more humorous touch. One of the interesting things about Jihad and his family is that his mother is from the Dominican Republic, but his father is from Pakistan, which brings together a very uh, diverse mix of of family members and like half is, is Catholic, half is uh, Muslim. So there's not just struggle with fitting in to a, a different culture um, from your forefathers, but there's also trying to come to terms with, with all the different flows and the different influences in your own family. And all these details I think are all based on the author's uh, actual life, except of course for supernatural elements, and it really shows, and, and one of the best things is the, the bonding uh, between the family members. It's, it's a very positive betrayal of, of a family uh, sticking together. Overall, I really like this book. It's funny, it's moving, it's, it's just great. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. The next thing I read, or rather listened to, were episodes 2 and 3 of The Book Burners, a serial from a Serial Box. Episode 2, Anywhere But Here, was written by Brian Francis Slattery, and episode 3, Fair Weather, was written by Margaret Dunlap. The Book Burners is about a covert unit in the Vatican who tracked down possessed, old possessed books which harbor demonic forces and then they try to neutralize them and bag them, tag and bag them and take them back to the Vatican. The whole series is rather structured like a TV show with a central showrunner, which in this case is Max Gladstone and a revolving set of writers. In fact, Margaret Dunlap has written four TV shows like The Middleman and Eureka and that's a hell of a credential because The Middleman was one of the best TV shows uh, ever, I think. At the moment, the book burner seems very much like a, a Monster of the Week show, where there's a different uh, haunted book each week. But looking at the summaries of upcoming shows, it seems that the, the latter half of the episodes, or maybe the final episodes, introduce more of an overarching plot. Overall, I think the series is okay. When thinking about it like a TV show, it's the kind of show you stick around for when you come across it on the TV, but which you don't really clear your uh, your schedule for. So I'll probably be keep reading this, uh, it's, it's a solid 3 stars. The last thing I read was The Destructives by Matthew Dabachua, and I really hope I pronounced his name correctly. It's a science fiction novel. The last one in a trilogy, but it's a very loosely connected trilogy. There's only one minor character which uh, features in, in all three of the books, but all three books are, are really worth checking out. There's actually a short film based on the first chapter of the first book online uh, called Dr. Easy. 
I'll uh, include a link to it uh, in the description down below. The Destructives takes place a few years after the Singularity, which was a very violent event called the Seizure. Afterwards, the artificial intelligences, who call themselves Emergences, try to repair as much of the damage that their awakening did and retreat to a Dyson Sphere around the Sun. All except for Dr. Easy, who has undertaken the project of studying a human life all the way from the beginning to the end. For that he's chosen Theodore Drown, an ex-junkie turned academic. And the story follows both of them as Theodore learns more about the seizure and the future of the human race, if they have any under the influence of the emergences. It's a weird book. Uh, if I had to describe it, I would say it's what you would get if Philip K. Dick had written 2001 uh, Space Odyssey. Now that I've read several of his novels, I've become a big fan of Dabachua. He has this gift for describing how these big impersonal systems, like be it modern warfare or the modern corporation or, or even consumer culture, how they, they force and, and seduce humans into giving up part of their humanity how, and how that's what the true evil of this time is. And the only cure, and this, in the hands of a lesser writer this would have been corny and, and cheesy, but the only cure is, is kindness and, and empathy. So yeah, a very interesting book from an interesting writer who I'll definitely keep my eye out for. I gave it 4 stars. I hope you liked this video, it's my first one, so if you have any tips feel free to let me know. If you've read any of these books or have any questions, uh, feel free to talk to me in the comments and if you want to see any more videos, uh, hit subscribe! That's all, bye!